Uh, Richard Medhurst was in his mid-twenties when he sent these messages to a 17-year-old girl promising real dates and far worse. And this is from the original uh, Medium article written uh, by one of the uh, alleged victims in question. This is also alleged because he's never directly addressed any of it. Uh, but they did have a lot of receipts, including some pretty incriminating photo uh, DMs. Oh, he also did New Metal Rock? Yeah, it's like it's like a groomer uh, Lincoln Park kind of thing. Stop. The combination of a vocal caress with lungs that gas for breath from emotional stress with special effects. And it is sort of collage, carefully lodged with team beats up a rhythmic barrage. It's going down, a logical progression so, on the time. If you're not familiar with Richard Medhurst, uh I first became aware of him as a YouTuber who was doing what seemed to be uh, anti-U.S. imperialism uh, videos, uh, and a handful of them were very well spoken, and I certainly thought that he was a good orator, uh, and he started to pick up some traction. He became very popular on Twitter for being against uh, U.S. imperialism. That was typically kind of the stance he took, but as he became larger and uh, obviously more famous, it seemed like he was definitely becoming a part of the Jimmy Dore ecosystem, a.k.a. Uh, the Grey Zone side of things. My Max Blumenthal, your uh, Bashir al-Assad is actually our friend uh, kind of uh, narratives. And uh, the only lens uh, of which to view the world is one in which the U.S. is the only bad guy that ever was or ever will be kind of stuff. Um, and to this day, Jimmy Dore is actually still, as of recently as, uh, I think he retweeted this yesterday, uh, retweeting Richard Medhurst. So here he is. The United States are like the Mafia. They don't forget. When Imran Khan went to Moscow to buy gas and wheat, refused to condemn Russia and the UN or sanction Putin, he gave the Americans the finger by daring to be independent. That was the last straw for them, so he had to go. So he's still quite a popular figure. Now, this uh, report has nothing to do with uh, Richard Medhurst's, uh, let's just say, uh, professional politics. This is about Richard Medhurst, the figure himself. I've reported previously on how Richard Medhurst was very credibly accused of grooming. And it seems like there are some updates in that story. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that. I also want to see maybe if I can get him to respond to any part of this. Uh, remember how the candidates in the Democratic primary diluted the field and then shanked Bernie to back Biden? Similar thing in France. The communists and Greens got Berlin and Foes put enough for the left that Mélenchon to lose to Penn. Total side note, but I'm just curious if you've ever addressed anything in this thread. Cool. We'll see if that uh, adds anything. So this is the thread in question that I was about to read right now. Um, before we get to the creepy child grooming receipts, Richard Medhurst first got onto our radar after boosting a pro-Assad Syrian who works for the anti-refugee party Alternative for Germany. And uh, this is also uh, what you may consider a far-right nationalist or a, uh, a Nazi. Um, remembering the Armenian Genocide, uh, nagorno karabakh conflict in Syria, I'm live with Kevork al -Masin. Elmasian, sorry. Uh, German Federal Ministry of Migration and Refugees announces to review the application for asylum for Assad propagandist uh, Kevork Elmasian, who also works for the right wing anti refugee party or the AFD. Uh, before Richard Bedhurst landed a job at the anti-Semitic Iranian re uh, regime Press TV as a self-proclaimed Syria politics expert, his grift was entertainment and he was rapping as Richie Rich doing YouTube rants. What? Oh, please tell me we have some of that. There's probably so many Richie Riches, though. It's Rich I Rich. This account doesn't exist. Oh, are you wiping yourself from the internet, Richie Rich? Uh, what about Facebook? Facebook.com, Rich I Rich Music. Page isn't available. All right, well, we won't be able to hear his incredible rhymes. Um, defenders of Richard Medhurst are screaming that his accusers are Cointel Pro, but do they know that Medhurst's dad is a high-ranking cop who taught courses on subversion and propaganda? I actually didn't know that. First thing my father ever told me about Amnesty International is that they're a front for British intelligence. How underwhelming. Uh, Paul Medhurst, he was involved in peacekeeping. Oh yes, we did know this. Political assistance, the General Officer Commanding, CMO, Office of Drug and Crime, Security Services. Yes, we did know this. Uh, and why is anyone surprised that Richard Medhurst is a serial groomer and abuser of young girls? His abuse of sexist language in uh, private messages to 15-year-old girls is consistent with what he said publicly about AOC. Listen to me. If you ever swear at me again, I will fucking kill you. Do you understand? You know what? I'm not going to talk to you anymore, and you can just enjoy your exams and your BS. I'll go uh, KMS, and maybe that suits your arrangement. Why are we fighting, man? Because you're a dumb uh, B. Uh, instead of being sweet with me, you just argue. I was trying to be sweet. Well, it wasn't enough. I'm trying to do this. Is this really fucking time to be going on a philosophical rant? Okay. 
You just don't get it, do you? God, you make me want to literally hang myself in Roblox. It would have been better for me to go fucking drown myself in Roblox in the tub in Roblox this morning than talk to you, to be honest. I, I'm adding in Roblox because I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to go fuck myself. Uh, my fault for depending on you. You're a B. Like, you barely uh, fucking talk to me when I tell you, hey, I feel like shit because you barely talk to me. And you continue to barely talk to me and don't even call me. What the fuck is wrong with you? How dare you say fucking bitch? How dare you curse? We would never do such a thing in this establishment. Oh, oh, I'm mortified. <laughs> That's what's so interesting about politics, right? These are the most disgusting thugs, the lowest of the low. Vermin, scum, murderers, war criminals. And they're offended by a few cuss words. Uh, Richard Medhurst was in his mid-twenties when he sent these messages to a 17-year-old girl promising real dates and far worse. And this is from the original uh, Medium article written uh, by one of the uh, alleged victims in question. This is also alleged because he's never directly addressed any of it. Uh, but they did have a lot of receipts, including some pretty incriminating photo uh, DMs. Hi, my name is Richie, and I really dig you. Oh, this is back when he was an MC, I suppose. Boy, I'm fucking infatuated. Uh, I'm going to take my dog roller skating today, Lamau. You can just communicate to me in memes and we can snog. I'll just become a mute. How perfect. I'll take you on real dates. God, finally someone will. Lamau, I never know if you're taking that Mickey or actually serious. Or taking the Mickey or actually serious. Uh, lol true. Can I eat that pussy as a friend? Nothing more. I don't want to make things complicated. Wants more though. Oh fuck. And again, uh, the person is allegedly 17 and he's in his mid-20s when he's sending these. Uh, Richard Med, uh, sorry, Richard Medhurst stands are claiming that because the screenshots are cropped, that somehow they are fake or fabricated. Medhurst wasn't just using his account to send these messages, though, and the profile images from his friends and alts match up. Here's why the usernames and handles don't match up. Richard Medhurst started using the account of his friend, Jay Smith, and here are the uh, profiles. So this is where things became a little bit new and interesting uh, to me. If anyone does digging on Facebook, this account he was using was his friend's because he got banned on Facebook at the time. I have more from his main, but he deleted it so I can't get screens. He eventually just started using his friend's account on the alt account. Uh, it's on Facebook Messenger. I have my account, but he deleted his main, so I only have the alts in which he blocked me. Uh, hi, my name is Richie. I really dig you. Jay Smith. And so this is the other account that he was using. The screenshot did not crop out Richard Mentor's name or profile image, so that excuse will no longer fly. Um... Yep, that's true. Yeah, I mean, some pretty damning receipts, uh, especially because he's never actually addressed any of them. Uh, on the left is a leaked screenshot for Richard Medhurst's J. Smith sock account, and on the right you can see the same globe light in the corner of his room in this YouTube video, the same poster as well. Sometimes I see your name and remember the song by Angelina by The Bravery. Not my favorite track, but the whole album is amazing. I love The Bravery. Ba-bam. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Again, for Richard Medhurst, stands relying on the blurry crop screenshots equals fake argument to defend him. Me and can take care of the group. Oh, you fucking pedophile. I know what you've fucking done. Delete the group at this point. To be honest, I don't fucking care. And don't fucking call me Angie as if I'm your friend. I know what you actually thought about me. By the way, I was 16 or 17 on top of what you've done. Uh, he missed your call. He missed your call again. This used to be his pseudonym that he was going by on the other account. But like I, like I said, this this is just like an unbelievable amount of receipts uh, that have been piling up over the last little while. And this Fash Busters has been keeping tabs on all of them. Final argument against the ridiculous notion that Richard Medhurst's accusers are government agents. If that were true, he'd be arrested like his buddy, convicted pedophile Scott Ritter, who thought he was sexing a 15-year-old girl, turned out to be a cop. Uh, and by the way, he had him, he's had him on for uh, a number of interviews, including when Scott Ritter just got kicked off of Twitter. Uh, he brought him on to his show uh, for a little talk. Richard Medhurst responds to the allegations he groomed two underage girls by removing his J. Smith sock account as an admin from the Depression Meals Facebook group, which is now how we found that account. Depression Meals Gone Wild, the original and only, Homo Sad Meals and Memes, people don't want to answer questions. Uh, he was an admin. Yep. Okay, here's why the usernames and don't handle. Going back to that thread. Breaking. Richard Medhurst responds to the allegations he grouped 200 gauge girls by deleting the Jason Smith sock account entirely because he used that account and used to send sexual message to 17 year old girls. So that account is now gone. The case content is available right now. When this happens, it's usually because the owner only shared it with a small group of people and changed who can see it or it's been deleted. Um, all right. So the Jay Smith account has been nuked. 
Uh, does Riverline Band know that their bandmate Richard Richie Rich met her as a pedo groomer? Keep that in mind. Oh, he also did New Metal Rock. Sweet. We have some music. <laughs> I mean, all things aside, it's not horrible. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I, I'm going into this. It's like they also had a new metal hip hop rock band outfit. I, I would assume it would have been a lot worse than this. A lot, a lot worse than this. Okay. What is it with groomers and new metal? Who else is there? Is, is that a big thing? Many yeah, oh, it's incredibly cringe. Don't get me wrong. It's incredible. But I just mean from a technical standpoint. Uh, from a technical standpoint, they're, they're not, like, it doesn't sound like people who don't have any idea how to work the instruments and or equipment that they're trying to use. The melting pot of a super future rest. Yeah, it's like it's like a groomer uh, Lincoln Park kind of thing. The combination of a vocal caress with lungs that gas for breath from emotional stress with special effects. And it is sort of collage, carefully lodged with team beats of a rhythmic garage. It's going down, a logical progression on the timeline. A separation now down to a fine line. Okay, that's as much as I can take. 38 seconds, longer than I thought. Fashbusters was republished, uh, or sorry, Fashbusters has republished this post, added corroborating hyperlinks, and archived it so it will be part of the internet record permanently. This will come up when they Google Richard Medhurst. Further uh, corroborations, not that any is needed, that leaked DMs from Richard Medhurst's sock account are legit. The poster and globe match up with the poster and globe in this Riverline music video. Does this guy ever leave the room? Okay. Another notable thing is that the reason the poster and globe match up perfectly is that Richard Medhurst recorded the Riverline video two months after DMing uh, this, who's at the time, was underage. Yeah, I mean, again, a lot of these things, and for complete due diligence, is uh, circumstantial evidence. Uh, you know, this is not like a, a smoking gun or anything. I think the fact that all these, when the original two articles came out and there was an overwhelming amount of leaked DMs and pictures uh, and it's never been directly addressed, that's also incredibly sus. But again, these are still allegations. They've not been directly uh, responded to by Richard. It's adding to the sussery, like the, the sussometer is increasing to ever increasing heights uh, as things uh, start to pile up, such as uh, the deleting of these alt accounts out of nowhere uh, since the original posting and accusations. That is also adding uh, to the sussery uh, that is going on. Uh, where were we? Another notable thing is the reason the posters and Globe match up is that Richard Mentor recorded the Riverline video two months after Dean, I mean, the individual question. Here's context for you. Richard Mentor is emotionally abusive groomer and sex pest. You could watch the other video I have uh, if you want to uh, hear me reading out uh, the Medium article that has the actual direct accusations, uh, but they are, uh, you know, they're pretty substantial. And then this one is the most recent one. So this is the newest revelation. We received an email from someone claiming to be Richard Medhurst's friend, the one who turned over the Facebook account and Richard used to message minors with, corroborating a key detail of her testimony. Hey, Fashbusters. My name is Jay. I'm Richard's friend. I just found your post. This one got my personal photos. I'm not anyhow involved with what Richie is doing on his own YouTube channel or the politics or stuff like that. I know him after almost 10 years and we always just been doing music online together. His political views or his channel, Facebook groups or any other interactions with people has nothing to do with me or my ID. He asked me to use his old Facebook account because his personal account was banned and he needed to message or manage his Facebook mean groups. I haven't been using that account for a while, so I gave it to him when he asked me. And that was a long time ago and I've never been using accounts since then. I'm just asking to remove my photos or at least blur or crop out me from them in the future posts like that. Thank you. If anyone does digging on Facebook, this account he was using was his friends because he got banned on Facebook at the time. I'd have more from his main, but he got deleted it so he can't get screens. He eventually just started using his friend's account as an alt account. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's not great. It's, uh, it's a lot of horrifying things. And uh, obviously uh, some subpar new metal as well uh, rolled into there. Um, but yeah, there's uh, there's an unbelievable amount of accessory. Uh, but one of the reasons I think it's important to, uh, again, bring up uh, the Richard Medhurst uh, her story in the same way it is to speak about Virgil Texas uh, in that this is two cases in which there are people, uh, supposed leftists, uh, who have been very credibly accused. In the case of Richard Medhurst, I would say more credible than the Virgil Texas, but still Virgil Texas has given credibility to his own story by simply... 
disappearing as soon as it came out. I mean, that one certainly adds a little bit more to the suspicion. Again, they're both uh, allegations. They have uh, not been uh, convicted of any crimes, have not been charged with anything. Uh, uh, they've not directly admitted to, to being at fault. So they are still, of course, innocent until proven guilty. But I'm just saying uh, this behavior obviously needs to be addressed and called out, especially when it is happening by people who are supposedly uh, flying under the banner of leftism. Uh, and when it comes to Richard Medhurst, he's someone who's being retweeted by a lot of accounts. He's also a monstrously huge account that gets retweeted by a lot of people. Um, and uh, the fact that it's something that he's never directly addressed or is in what many ways seems like trying to cover up his tracks uh, and delete them off the internet is uh, is definitely something that is uh, incredibly suspicious and uh, yikesy. The, the whole thing is unbelievable. Like, read that Medium article. It's, it's very, very yikesy uh, all over the place. Do you enjoy the surfs but prefer not to have to use your eyeballs? Many are saying this. Well, we've got the solution for you. It's the Surf Times in podcast form. Available on most major podcasting networks now. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a good review and feedback because it really helps the show out, apparently, and it's free. Just like the podcast. To our gods, Xander Corvus and Peyton L. Just, we are prepared to conduct many a human sacrifices in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, we are but your humble yet incompetent gestures, trying in vain to bring some levity into your life. To our lord, Trevor R., we give you thanks for this meager plot of land for us to toil away our pathetic existence. To our brave knights, Carl Wauer, Tony, DM Rivera, Resident Scarecrow, Sir Nickus, Mayred, Cheryl Alvarez, Ruben Kelly, Brandon, Words Greenwood, Nate, Hagbird Celine, Matthew Scarborough, Stellar Vision, Ariane McCarthy, Daniel Sutton, Coulter Smith, Jenna Tal, Quiet185, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodle Hawk, The Tim Caucus, Multimondi, Trevor Janice, Lemmy101, Anthropophojack, Saren42, Catherine, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, Agent NDN, Violent Orchard, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We salute our mighty heroes off to conquest some bread in some far off land.